Let's go. And we will see. Thank God it's Friday and the beginning of another month, the last month in the year 2023. Today is Friday, the first day of December 2023. This is your life boy today and let me say happy new month. Welcome to a new month of December and I pray that all those aspirations that you have that were never met in all the first 11 months of the year, this is your time to have all those aspirations met. But you know what? You have to be steadfast. And that's the topic of our discussions today. Be steadfast. We'll be reading from the book of Revelations. We all know that Revelations, according to St. John the Beloved, and we'll be reading from the 13th chapter. If you're set, we go very quickly now. And I saw a beast rising out of the sea with ten horns and seven heads, with ten diadems upon its horns, and a blasphemous name upon its head. And the beast that I saw was like a leopard, its feet were like a bear's, and its mouth was like a lion's mouth. And to it the dragon gave his power, and his throne, and great authority. One of its heads seemed to have a mortal wound, but its mortal wound was healed. And the whole earth followed the beast with wonder. Men worshipped the dragon, for he had given his authority to the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like the beast, and who can fight against it? And the beast was given a mouth, uttering haughty and blasphemous words. And it was allowed to exercise authority for 42 months. It opened its mouth to utter blasphemies against God, blaspheming his name and his dwelling, that is those who dwell in heaven. Also, it was allowed to make war on the saints and to conquer them. And authority was given it over every tribe and people and tongue and nation. And all who dwell on earth will worship it. Everyone whose name has not been written before the foundations of the world in the book of life of the Lamb that was slain. If anyone has an heir, let him hear. If anyone is to be taken captive to captivity, he goes. If anyone slays with a sword, with a sword he must be slain. Here is a call for the endurance and faith of the saints. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be steadfast because times are already reflecting some of those things that John the Beloved saw in that revelation that he had on the island of Patmo. By the way, I always will explain to you that even for us in this contemporary time, sometimes when we dream, those dreams are like cartoons as well, not completely definite. A man can turn into a snake and a snake can turn into a chicken and all kinds of funny things, the kind of things that you see in movies. So if John the Beloved also saw some of these things and 
many figures that you will have to try to interpret then understand that yes they could just have been like cartoons to him the way we also have a few dreams like that but certain things were also definite they were well defined they were to be understood as literally as they occurred to john the beloved now, i want you to understand something here in part of what we just read now we were told that even the beast and that beast of course representing the antichrist may not all of the time be something physical and may not just be coming ahead of time the beast may be here with you it may be anything that is having to do with the tricks of satan and i've often told you the tricks of satan are all about the lust of the eyes the lust of of the flesh and the pride of life the same john the beloved wrote it in his epistle one of his epistles first john 2 16 and 17 that the lust of the eyes the lust of the flesh the pride of life and those are the same tricks that the same satan used for adam and eve in the garden of eden the same thing that he used for even jesus christ our lord and savior when he took him up to the high mountains and all that but you need to be steadfast knowing the word of god and standing sure-footed do not be moved even when you see saints falling be determined that you are going to stand even when the whole world is declaring a casting down you must declare a lifting up and this is not just about material things alone it's about your spiritual standing you must stand you must be steadfast you must remain focused you can face all kinds of persecutions challenges situations that will baffle you sometimes you think you have completely overcome certain challenges you even have testimonies and along the line the devil comes with new tricks again just to make sure that you miss your standing and that you bow to him remain steadfast in the lord know that the lord will never forget you the lord will always be there for you as he promised you then he will it will come to pass in your life our time is fast spent just be steadfast be steadfast in the word of god be steadfast in doing good be steadfast in yielding to the holy spirit and it will be well with you no matter the dangers that may be around you the signs of the beast whether the beast that uh, is here so to say not physically or the beast that may still eventually come physically it's all about the same tricks lost of the eyes lost of the flesh pride of life be steadfast overcome those and it will be well with you now for you to be steadfast and to overcome those you must be in the lord because it is only the holy spirit that can bring the word in season and out of season for you to be able to overcome so you are not yet in christ i want to send an invitation to you right now are you said for that just say this prayer say lord jesus i come to you right now i also want to be steadfast but i must first stand before i am steadfast i have not been standing in you i confess my sins i accept you from today as lord and savior and I say, accept me, Lord, too. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. If you just said that prayer, welcome to the fold of those who are steadfast in Christ. You need to find a Bible-believing church so that you can grow in the faith. I always recommend that you join us where I am priest in charge, and that is the Anglican Church, or OPS Extension, the Shobo. For now, we worship in the chapel hall of the Olive Branches Midland High Schools, Onyiko and Gokyo Mibod and Drive, OPS Extension, the Shobo. You can join us every Tuesday, 5 o'clock in the afternoon for our midweek services, on Sundays, 9 o'clock in the morning, and together we will be steadfast in the presence of the Lord. And you can see some bank account details on the screen right now. Please drop something there so that together we can build a physical sanctuary where we can stand steadfast together, land at his feet, and get surer in his word. And as you go out today, this beautiful weekend, Say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, help me to take a stand for you and remain faithful to the end. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So go out today. Be steadfast and it will be well with you. And once more, happy new month. God bless you this new month. Amen. Amen.